Hello and uh, welcome to a short macro revision video. We're going to take a look for a few minutes at the difference between the base rate of interest and mortgage rates. So what is the base rate of interest? Well, essentially, it's the rate in the UK uh, that is set by the Monetary Policy Committee or the MPC of our central bank, the Bank of England. And the base rate determines the interest rate that the Bank of England pays to commercial banks that hold money on account with them. Now, the key thing is that the level of base rates sets essentially a base from which other interest rates follow. So, for example, changes in the base rate might influence the rates of interest that Barclays or HSBC or Lloyds might charge people to borrow money for a loan or the rate of interest they might also offer to their savers. Well, here's a chart showing the base rate of interest for the UK since 2008. If we go back to the global financial crisis, interest rates were hovering around 5-6% at the start of the crisis. But interestingly, the base rate of interest was cut very sharply during the GFC from 5.5% to 1% within the space of a few weeks or a few months. Central banks around the world pulled the interest rate lever there were huge cuts in base rates of interest to try to stimulate the economy and avoid a 1930s-style depression. Interest rates stayed at 0.5% in the UK from 2009 all the way through to 2016. There was a further cut, actually, in the immediate aftermath of the Brexit referendum in June of 2016. Base rates then started edging up slowly towards 1%. In 2018 2019 but as you can see from the chart the rate of interest was cut to 0.1 percent essentially zero as the coronavirus pandemic took hold and the economy went into lockdown gdp falling by more than 20 percent within the space of a few months and that's where they are at the time of this video that 0.1 percent in the uk obviously historic lows now, interest rates clearly have economic effects. We have a separate video evaluating the economics of low interest rates. But generally speaking, when interest rates are low and or falling, this reduces the incentive to save, especially if the real interest rate, that's the money rate of interest minus inflation, if the real rate of interest on savings becomes negative, there's less incentive to save. Cuts in interest rates in theory, make borrowing money cheaper for consumers and businesses, and that could stimulate consumption and investment. And crucially, if the mortgage interest rate goes down, that's going to leave people with a mortgage, homeowners, with more money to spend each month. Interest rates falling could also stimulate asset prices, such as shares and property. And crucially, for open economies, countries which trade with the rest of the world, uh, depreciation in the exchange rate is often the result of a fall in interest rates as hot money leaves an economy and a cheaper pound, for example, against the dollar or against the euro should help export businesses sell more overseas. Overall, low interest rates are expected to increase aggregate demand. They stimulate the economy, although, of course, you'll have to evaluate those arguments in essay style questions. Now, what's the mortgage rate? Well, the mortgage rate of interest determines how much, if you're a home buyer, you have to pay to buy a property if you're taking out a mortgage loan. So it determines how much you charge, you're charged to borrow and also, crucially, the interest payments on that mortgage. Some mortgages offer fixed rates where the, the monthly repayment is fixed for a period of years, nearly always two, three, four years, but sometimes as long as 10, even 15 years. Other mortgages offer variable rates of interest where the interest rate rises and falls over time, often following changes in the base rate of interest. Now here's a chart where I've put the base rate as we had before, but this time I've added in the average mortgage rate. Of course there are many, it's a competitive market for the UK. Mortgage rates were just under 6% in 2008 and of course they fell sharply as did interest rates generally during the crisis. They then declined gradually, you can see by 2015, the average mortgage in the UK had just dipped below 3% for the first time. 
And if we go to the latter part of the chart, to the autumn of 2020, as the coronavirus pandemic hit the economy, the mortgage rate in the UK, the average cost of a home loan fell below 2%. Now, that's higher than base rate, clearly. It's a secured loan. But uh, mortgage rates, in many ways, have never been cheaper. In nominal terms, you're paying just 2% on average if you can get a mortgage. But what are some of the economic effects of cheaper mortgage interest rates? Uh, first of all, it reduces the cost of servicing debt. So if you have a home loan, uh, that means that you have less to pay each month. And that, in theory, will increase the demand for property. And that could then drive higher house prices. We've mentioned this before, but if the mortgage rate comes down, that increases the effective disposable income of a home buyer. You see, for most people, if you have a mortgage, it's your single biggest monthly payment. If that comes down, you'll have more to spend on other goods and services uh, because of that. It could well cause house prices to rise as it becomes cheaper to borrow money, and that could lead to a positive wealth effect for existing homeowners. And in theory, cheaper mortgages might improve housing affordability uh, because you'll be able to borrow perhaps a little bit more than you did before. However, that depends on the willingness to lend to first-time buyers and whether they have sufficient income to take out a mortgage that's sufficient itself to buy a property. Uh, we'll have to have another video, won't we, on evaluating low interest rates. This video is just looking at some of the economic effects of cheaper loans. So there we go. We've looked at the difference in this video between base interest rates and the mortgage rate. And thanks for joining in this Tutor to You video.